Hello everyone and welcome to yet another exciting episode of Universal U. We've been talking about the third eye and how it is an instrument for the perception of multidimensional reality. When you open your third eye, you have greater intuition and you are aware of the hidden motivations of others. You have a stronger degree of extrasensory perception and you can see auras, which is brilliant. I will talk more on what the actual aura colors mean in terms of a person's individual life path. But for now, I'll just show you how to open your third eye. And yeah, this is gonna be quite a transformative session. I advise you to watch this and try it a bit later. All right, okay. So I'm gonna give you two techniques for opening your third eye which are extremely popular in the circles I run in. However, there are multiple techniques for doing this. And if you happen to do some research and find one that works better for you, then please, by all means, go ahead and use that one. All right, let's begin. All right. So, in the University of Metaphysics, situated in Sedona, I was taught the candle concentration meditation, which is excellent for opening the third eye. Let's begin. All right, you're going to need a rose, some incense, and a white candle. You're going to place these objects like this. Candle, rose, incense. I prefer rose incense, but whatever incense works for you. If for, ever, for some reason these items are tricky or difficult to come by, then just get a plain white candle. All right. You're going to make sure that you're in a comfortable position and wearing comfortable clothing. You're going to take a couple of deep breaths. And what you're going to do is you're going to stare intently at the candle flame for a period of about five minutes. The idea is that this staring will adjust you to the inner focal point of the candle when you close your eyes. So you're going to stare at the candle flame for a prolonged period of time. You're going to close your eyes and you're going to see an image in your mind. Now focus on that inner image of the candle flame for as long as you can. And meditate whilst you do this. The longer you practice this, the better you'll be at experiencing multidimensional reality. For those of you who are particularly aware, you might find yourself perceiving the astral dimension. You're perfectly safe there. You're merely an observer. This is a very interesting phenomena that happens. Uh, for those of you who do experience it, you become aware that there is only new life. Death is an illusion. There is no death. Uh, Albert Einstein said that you cannot uh, create or destroy energy, you can merely transform it. I'm paraphrasing. But the point is that there's only new life, and this becomes apparent when you perceive the astral dimension through your third eye, or when you astral project. I'll talk more about this later, because it's a subject all on its own. But for now, we're talking about opening the third eye and using it in daily life to have a better intuition and 
direct your life in a manner that's prosperous. All right, so that's the candle concentration meditation. Now I'm going to give you my own personal technique, which I have done many times for many of my clients, and it works wonders. All right, so this next technique involves visualization. You just get in a comfortable position and then you visualize uh, bright red. And then you visualize bright orange. Then you visualize a bright yellow. Then a bright green. Then a light blue. And the deeper blue. And then a purple. Take your time visualizing each of these colors. It's very bright. Then you visualize the bright white light, an infinite field of pure bright white light. And then you visualize a bright gold light. Bear in mind you're doing all of this with your eyes closed. After a few deep breaths, then open your eyes and attempt to look at someone's aura. If you're doing this meditation in nature, you can look at the auras of trees. You should see shimmering lights around trees, and you may even make contact with a few fairies. That'd be lovely. If you're doing this with a partner, try and look at their aura and see what colors you can pick up. All right. I'll be discussing the meanings of the different colors of the auras in a later video and show you how you can use aura reading to find out where you are in your life path and what decisions you can make to better yourself and brighten your aura. People with very bright auras are often very fulfilled in life and this exercise can assist you in brightening your aura and finding fulfillment thank you for watching as always a pleasure stay tuned for the next video where we'll be discussing the meaning of the aura colors <laughs> and i'll relate that to the chakras as well yeah all right